Hi Felters and welcome. Today we are going to do this super simple sheet. It's similar to my marvellous minis but it's a little bit bigger and a little bit more detail and it's got the grey um, Gotland locks on it which I'll talk about later. So nice face, mouth, tail is really quite easy and pipe cleaners in the legs to help him stand up nice and sturdy. I've lit my candle, I've got some beautiful winter flowers on the um, shelf at the moment, really lovely. Everything's ready and of course I've got my cup of tea oh, and a chocolate biscuit. So let's get started. Take some core wool, this is going to go on the inside. I do a video on core wool, it can be anything really. Cheap wool or wool that you don't want to use. And roll it up into, we're going to go for um, a cylindrical or oblong shape. So uh, roll it quite tight. I'm using a, a, tri a tri needle, which is really good for speeding things up. And then I'm just putting some white carded wool around the outside because that core wool I was just using up was a little bit slippery. So you don't have to do this with your core wool, but this is just to make it a bit um, easier for me. So that tri needle works really well. I've only got two needles in it because I think it uh, goes a bit deeper when it's like that. So this uh, carded wool is carded Jacob bat. I get most of my wool from World of Wool, which if you watch me, you'll probably know. So just this um, cylindrical shape, just firm it up and you should end up with a shape that is about three inches long. This is the pipe cleaner for the legs because I always forget to tell you the length. That's six inches for the pipe cleaners and two inches in width. But you can do your sheet whatever size, but this is roughly the sizes I use. So the pipe cleaners, I always turn the end over so that you don't get the sharp points. Just take some carded wool. Carded wool is the easiest. Um, I find tops and roving is a little bit trickier to get the smooth finish. And I start from the centre and work out to the ends. I found this has worked a lot easier because you can adjust the wool when you get to the end so you don't end up with loads. So start in the middle and work out to the towards the end. I like to keep it quite thin as you can see I'm stretching it out and then anything you don't want you just pull it off and smooth it over. You have to do it past the end of the pipe cleaner so it definitely covers it up but if it doesn't and you've run out you can just add some more. I'll add some more in a minute because there's a gap just there just to show you, take a little bit, wrap it round and then I'm using quite a big needle so that if it touches the metal of the pipe cleaner it's not likely to break. Only that part shows anyway of the legs so don't worry about neatening up the middle. And then I always give it a little roll and I've got quite a fine needle there just to get the little bits in but be very careful of hitting the pipe cleaner. And any really annoying bits just trim them off. So there we go, that's one set of legs. There's the next, so they're all done. Shouldn't take too long. And then we're just going to attach the legs to the main body by taking a bit of wool and just needle felting it either side of it. And then the legs can be a little bit wobbly if you don't sort of needle felt them a bit further down. So you can actually, because there's quite a bit of wool on these legs, you see there, needle felt right through the wool on the edge of the pipe cleaner. Again, just being careful of the pipe cleaner and I've got it's quite a big needle I'm using there. So there we go. That's the main body. I'm just going to put on a little bit of neck and it just helps the head sort of sit up a bit and gives you something to attach the head to. So I find just adding it on afterwards like this makes life quite easy. So I just rolled up a little bit of wool and popped it on. It's no higher than half an inch an inch at most. And it's just a little bump that you can attach the head to. So the head, um, take some carded wool again, just roll it up nice and tight and this is a, a very, I always say it's cone shaped so it's going to be wider at the top and then thinner down by the nose but it doesn't matter too much with these sheep because they're not supposed to be really realistic. So I keep one end fluffy and hold on to it and that's the end I'm going to attach, that's the one I'm holding in my hand. And then the other end I just round off and I'm checking with the size all the time, see if it looks right proportionally and you can add a bit more, You can. it's harder to take stuff away so always start smaller but you can always add a bit more if it's not looking big enough. And then I take a fine needle and just um, smarten it up, and there he is, that's the head. 
So we're going to do the mouth, and I'm sorry if you've watched my videos a lot before, but this is exactly the same method. Take a thin piece of black, or brown, or grey, whatever you want to use, or whatever you've got, and twizzle it into a line, and then attach either end first, check it straight, and then very gently felt it in. You don't want the, um, the wool to sort of disappear into the sheep's head, so this is why I do use a fine needle with some of this. And then this is the V shape for the nose, so I did the middle bit first, and then the two V's, and I always have the black uh, lines longer than they need to be, and if you've got way too much, just trim them off. And then this is the middle line going down. And that is so easy. That is a sheep's nose. And then I always like to put a little bit of color on the nose. So I'm gonna put a little bit of pink. You could use a, a gray or a brown. It depends on the colors you're gonna do for your sheep. But pink is definitely very cute. And just gently felt it in. It doesn't have to be really neat, that pink bit, because it doesn't show very strongly. And then the eyes, I'm just using uh, black wool. I see no need to use plastic eyes for this. Um, and it's a tiny little bit, check their level, needle felt it in, uh, and that's it really. And you can squidge the face if they're looking a bit unlevel. So the ears, take a little bit of wool, fold it over to get that folded effect and then needle felt it, pull it off your mat several times because it does stick. And then this is, I turn, you know where the edges look a bit thin? I turn the edges in on these ears just to make it simple. A lot of the time I do ears and I put them between two bits of card, but these sheep are quick, these sheep are easy, so I, I don't want to have to go mad on doing loads, so I just turn the edges over and I'll show you again in a minute up close. And then there's a little bit of pink on the inside just for detail. So if you were doing grey on the nose, you'd probably do grey inside the ears. And then fold them in half so that they stay in the ear shape and needle felt it through. And that's how they're going to look. So this is me just doing the other ear. And when you get to the edge, so you turn it over, so you're just folding the edge over a bit so it just neatens it up, any of the thin straggly bits of wool tidies up quite nicely and gives you a bit of an edge there we go so to attach the ears you've got the fluffy bit at the end of the ear so you use that to attach onto the back of the head and just do the first bit if it's wrong you can just pull the ear off and reattach needle felting is so easy and there's the second ear just attach it on starting to look like a sheep. So you've got the fluffy bit at the back, so attach that through to the neck, um, and you're gonna need to do a little bit more on the neck, but this just helps keep it on and in the right position. Everything gets a bit squished at this stage, so don't worry. So I do a little bit of felting through, but then I'll take the scarf, which um, if you watch me, you'll know, and a lot of people do that. So you take a long, thin bit, wrap it around like a scarf, and then you have to spend a bit of time really securing the head. A loose head is not fun. So take your time, and you see his upside down, that sort of works a, a lot of the time for me. And you have to do a lot of felting through, and then just pull the head, give it a little tug, and you can feel whether it's secure or not. There we go. So these are grey Gotland locks. I got them from a lady, uh, West Wales Wool on Facebook. But if you go on Etsy and type Gotland locks, there are loads. So you'll be able to find them on there. This is 50 grams I got, so I'll probably at least be able to do two sheep, maybe three. And you just take a bundle and it's so simple. You just needle felt through in places and it gives you the curly look. You don't have to spend ages attaching individual locks. Um, they seem to just, after a while, they just start to um, felt to the wool and they stick really well. Sometimes I rub my finger over just to check. So you take a bundle, not too large, so you can sort of control where you're putting it. And then needle felt it on. And it's really simple and you can do this with any locks. I made two of these sheep and they sold straight away at my craft fair the other day. So they're really popular, they're really simple. Um, just, oh sorry, I've got my YouTube, I'm always watching YouTube. When you go over the leg, 
um, I try to go over either side of it so that you're not constantly felting into the pipe cleaner. So I sort of take a strand and do it either side of it. And then work your way all the way around, do the tummy, all the way up the back of the head. I like a little bit onto the top of the head because I think it gives them character. You might not want to. Um, or sometimes a lot of my Herdwicks have a, a white colour on the top because the Herdwicks don't actually have uh, grey fleece coming over the top of their head. But he still sells really well. He doesn't have to be breed exact. And then needed a bit more and a bit more. <laughs> it's always lovely. Keep adding a little bit. And then the tail. So I take a tiny bit of just uh, grey carded and I put it into a little ball and then attached it just on top of the fleece and going all the way around it. Sorry my hand keeps getting in the way but you can see it in a minute. And it's really simple. You could do a longer flatter tail like a proper sheep but this is just, it's just a cute sheep. It doesn't have to be exact. So there he is, all done. So I do do a um, Herdwick with no pipe cleaners because if you don't have pipe cleaners you can go and have a look at that video, I'll put it on at the end. But yeah, he's all done, I was really pleased, he didn't take long, about an hour and a quarter. Um, and here we are all packed up for the craft fair, can't wait to go, the shelves are empty, oh, apart from those little gnomes, I'll talk to you about them in another video. And it's a beautiful evening, so I've priced him up and we're going to put him in, wish me luck and thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. He's off to the craft fair. Bye.